Up and running with Blender, lesson 3, controlling the view. The goal of this lesson is to see how to use the number pad to control your viewing direction in the 3D viewport. Using the face view cube blend file, you can practice controlling your view. The easiest way to open that, if you've had it open previously, is using the splash screen itself. This file can be downloaded from the EdgeDuck website. Assuming that you have successfully loaded the file, we're going to use the number pad for view control. So switch it on if necessary by pressing the numlock key on your keyboard. If you are using a laptop, you will probably have to hold down the FN key and find the number pad somewhere in the middle of the keyboard. So our main views are accessed through numpad 1, numpad 3 and numpad 7. And the corresponding reverse views are accessed through control number pad 1 control numpad 3 and control numpad 7. Pressing 5 within with the mouse in the 3D viewport, pressing 5 will toggle orthoscopic and perspective views. Number pad 4 and 6, number pad 2 and 8 work in pairs to rotate the view in 15 degree jumps. The slash key on the number pad will toggle uh, between a global view with and an exclusive view of the selected object. At any point, pressing number pad 0 will give you the camera view, and pressing number pad 0 again will revert to your previous view. The home key will view the entire scene. Notice when you are changing view that the orientation of the Cartesian axis indicator at your bottom left hand side will change, red, green and blue corresponding to x, y and z axes respectively. You can also try clicking the mouse wheel and dragging the mouse in the 3D viewport whilst watching this axis indicator. When modelling, you will mostly want to be in view 137 or a reverse view. Finally, check out the view menu in the 3D area for alternative access to various views. You'll switch between these views regularly as you work.